Only on five tonight, it is a wildly popular drug of choice for a growing number of teens. It's potentially deadly and entirely legal in California. That's right, Micah. In fact, they're marketed as bath salts. But don't be fooled by the household name. The dangerous white powder is not being used for relaxation. Instead, it's abused by kids in search of a dangerous high. I got involved with this, and it, my life just was turned into a tornado. I spent all my money on it. Uh, every time I had money, I would rush to go get some. A 19-year-old boy sacrificing it all just to take one more hit. I did need it, yes. And every part of me wanted it. But the dangerous white substance that had Kenny Petterzak, the son of an FBI agent, hooked wasn't cocaine. By January of this last year, I had stumbled upon bath sauce. Uh, in a head shop. They're branded as bath salts, but those buying the powder aren't soaking in it. Instead, they're smoking, snorting, even injecting it to achieve a chemical high users say is more addicting than any illegal street drug. It's much more potent than uh, you know, methamphetamines or cocaine. And today, this over-the-counter cocaine copycat is believed to have a direct link to a recent spike in emergency room visits and even more disturbing, suicides and murder. People use these bath salts for one day. They're up for three to four days from using the bath salts. And within that three to four days is when they're starting experiencing the symptoms of suicidal thoughts, homicidal thoughts. Tammy Scarcella of A Better Tomorrow, a drug and rehab facility, is seeing more and more patients addicted to this packaged poison. It causes severe schizophrenic behavior. This past April, a Washington state soldier shot and killed his wife and himself during a high-speed car chase after reportedly using synthetic drugs packaged as bath salts. Authorities found 500 milligrams of Lady Bubbles bath salts in his pockets when his body was recovered from his car. The hallucinations varied from like, mental hallucinations to visual. Kenny recalls the extreme paranoia he experienced during his high. I thought I could hear people's thoughts and you didn't want to see me destroy myself. So-called bath salts have been banned in many states across the country but remain legal right here in Southern California. During our KTLA investigation, when we went to Hollywood smoke shops, not only did they carry bath salts, but they were fully aware of their purpose. <laughs> When we asked how to use bath salts, we were told to, quote, snort it and also start with a little line and see how you feel. It's not only readily accessible, you know, they put cutesy little things on it that says, you know, not for human consumption, but obviously, you know, you're not going to pay $25 for half a gram of something you can take a bath in. Well, this story is far from over. Tomorrow night at 10, we're going to show you just how easy it is to get bath salts and tell you about some other horrific side effects from the so-called over-the-counter cocaine. And Micah will also show you how they're packaged. And, right. you know, parents will look at them and probably just, you know, not even think that it's anything at all. So it's as if it's cocaine. It is. The yes. way it's packaged, mm -hmm. the way it's written, and the way it's put out. Absolutely. So we'll show that to you tomorrow night.